and we're going to talk about what do you say when a someone else in a network marketing business and they know you're in a network marketing business when they pitch you on their business So someone pitches you on their business opportunity and says, hey, I just want to see if this is something you want to do. Are you open? Yada, 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 right? Most, let me say, most network marketers will get pissed. How dare you do that? You know I'm in an MLM company. No, I don't want to do your business. I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied. We have the best compensation plan ever. You'll never see a product out there ever, ever. Not even a dragon could piss fire on this thing it's amazing or because different companies will have different training philosophies so right. probably the person pitching you will have a slightly different approach than the one that you have right. or the one that you believe is the best and you'll feel indignant oh look what they said screenshot Send it share to, to everybody yeah. how could they ever right. so there's that response as well. Right. <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna tell you what to do. Here's what we're gonna tell you what to do. When someone from another MLM company pitches you an opportunity, here's, there's two options. You can say, yeah, I'm open to checking it out, right? Like a decent human being to say, I mean, if you're open, then say, yeah, I'm open. Because maybe you are. Maybe you are, okay? Now, if you're not, think about it this way. How do you guys feel when you pitch your opportunities to somebody, just to see if they're open, not, I'm not even talking about another MLM, I'm talking about when you go out and you prospect somebody, you're prospecting, and you're just seeing if people are open, an old friend from high school. Or the person down the street, or just, just somebody, and, and like, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it takes some courage if, you, if you're if you new and... There, what? I just wanna make sure they can see it. Oh, yeah. And so if just, you're new, just, just your your average, just your day to day prospect. Right, you're out there prospecting, and someone says to you, "How dare you yeah. ask me to join one of those they things?" They all prickly, right? And, and indignant, right? And I have a job. Yeah, I have a family to raise. That don't get me in trouble. One of those illegal paradise oh. games, right? So why would you, if you don't like that? Why would you go on and go do that to someone else? Regardless and, of the context. Right, right. Like, either say you're open because you're open to it, or to say, no, I'm good. Thank you. I like what I'm doing. I really am having a good time here in my business, and I'm, I'm really focused on, on where I'm going in this business, and, and I've planted my flag on and where I want to go and, and where, where I see my, my vision. <laughs> People could just stop calling me. That'd be great. It's so popular. <laughs> And to take it a step further, if Wait, I, I could jump in. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. Um, all right, if, to take it a step further, what, after so many, you know, after a little while in the industry, and I mean, I know that Trey and I have both been that person that's kind of prickly with the other network marketer that pitches us, and you know, we've done it, we've done those things, mm -hmm. and we've been kind of, we've been dicks to people. Mm -hmm. But to take it a step further than what Trey just said, I mean, you can say no like a decent human being, you could also be a friend to this person. You could also like take it a step further and realize, hey, this industry is kind of tough enough. It's kind of, you know, we like we run into to, like assholes mm. and people who want to tear us down, take mm. us down a peg or two. We run into that stuff enough in this industry and we could all just seriously uh, be a little nicer to one another. Yeah. And so, and I'm not saying that on a high horse because I've been that person that's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Yep. We're so much better than them. I can't believe they do that that way. Yep. Ugh. I've still been that person, so I don't mean to be on a pedestal at all. But I can say, right. because I've been on both sides, that we we could all use a little more decency. Absolutely. <laughs> so, if you get pitched, here is our best advice of what to do. You can repitch them if you want. But this is there's there's gonna be something so much more powerful, and you probably will sign them up down the road uh, if you use this approach. Right. Okay, so someone approaches you, says you open, maybe they even put off like a you'll make so much money, yada yada yada, and, and they do a horrible job at, at their pitch, right? 
what you can instead say, instead of no, um, or yeah, I'm open, is listen, no, you know, I really appreciate the offer um, and I respect the hustle, but I'm really um, focused on the business that I'm building. However, okay, a big however, um, I did want to help you with your pitch because, you know, I know that you feel strongly in what you're doing and what you have to offer. And here are, here's a simple script that you can use to get, that I found gets better results. Now, what did you just do? One, you made the industry better because that rep who has a shitty sales pitch, you just help them say, hey, here's something even more valuable that I've seen get better results. You're making the entire industry better. Two, you're helping them get results. Three, if by chance they are not satisfied and they don't want to build that business or I don't know, maybe the company closes or God forbid, I don't know. But they just decide, you know what, I don't really want to build that business anymore. Who do you think they're going to think of? They're going to think of this beautiful Goldilocks bear here who said, wow, she was really nice enough to help uplift me, take some time out of her day to help me. I, she's always going to keep you in back of their mind, right? Because it was a, it was a nice connection. Right, it was a good connection. Yeah. So really think about that, guys. Like, you don't have to try to re-pitch them, but just add more value to them because it helps the, the, the industry, right? It helps them, and uh, maybe later on they might want to do business with you, right? Maybe they'll even buy a product from you. Like, you know what? That was really helpful. Let me buy your Q-tips. Those are great Q-tips. I'm going to try those out, right? So Versus if you, were, if you were a jerk, then that's not helping anybody. And if they continue to have problems, if they continue to run into roadblocks like that, then your voice might be the one in their head that's, that's, that they can't, they can't forget when they hit the quit button. Yeah. You know? Like, damn, even people in the industry think that I'm terrible at this. Why, what's, what's the point? Why should right. I even bother? And, and then they quit. And, and then they go off and they tell everybody else that they know in their network that the industry sucks. Mm -hmm. That it's that it's mm -hmm. a that's a crapshoot. That it's like it's not worth your time. I gotta bring her on these lives more often. Girl drops the knowledge. <laughs> so we can all use a little help. We could, and you know, think about why you got started in your business, right? Probably because you wanted to make some extra money, right? It wasn't because you wanted to hear people be dicks to you. You probably wanted to have less stress when it comes to holidays, not because you wanted to hear rejection, right? Like mm -hmm. think about all those reasons that you started. And if you're going to be that negative prick who says, yeah, and be and poop on their dreams, shame on you.